The Star Bolt, I think it's V-Twin really beats the Sportster in terms of it's got a little bit of a torquier, better power band. It feels like a, a stronger bike and it, and it is. I love the snappiness of throttle response. It's just immediately dialed in, twist and go. First couple of gears, it's really, you know, launching off the line. Very usable power. Unlike some of the metrics, which have sort of a detuned or mellow feel to their engine, I think the Star really does deliver like some personality. Some people will prefer the character of the Sportster, but I think that the, the Bolt's V-Twin is easier to live with. The engine is more broad than the Sportster, which means that your legs have to spread out a little bit to be comfortable on it. The general riding position is very similar to the Sportster, but the Bolt feels a little bit bigger. I also feel like the controls on the Bolt are a, bit, a little bit larger. Makes it feel like a little bit bigger bike than it really is. And when you compare the Sportster to the Bolt, the Bolt feels bigger even though it weighs less. In the turns, it's, the Bolt is very stable, very predictable, hugs the road well. It does feel like a bigger bike than the other two, but hustling through the mountains the other day, the thing was, was very, very stable at lean and a, a pleasure to ride. Due in part because it's got these piggyback reservoirs on the back and a very thickly padded seat. Because the fork comes up higher and the width of the bars, this bike offers you more protection on the highway. The other two bikes, you get quite a bit of buffeting. Makes it one of the more comfortable rides because of that. My, my biggest complaint with the Star is actually this heat shield on the left side. It's just the right height to cut into your calf and it's, it's really irritating. And I, I, to me, it really detracts from the, the riding experience. I find that the display with the sort of the smoked glass over it is really hard to read, especially in the sun. The brakes have good fill and power, but the rear will lock up pretty easily. And also, once you lock it up, that back tire doesn't have a whole lot of grip. The front end in particular is really nice. I think it's really clean. For me personally, where the styling sort of falls apart is the exhaust is a little bulky. That engine guard that I mentioned, is, I'm not a big fan of. And then we get to the back end with that LED tail light. The LED part's pretty cool, but the way it just kind of sticks up out of nowhere in the, the fender doesn't really work for me. The Bolt does a really good job of being like the Sportster without being the Sportster. So it's gonna, it, its target is to get that crowd that maybe the people that don't want to ride a Harley, but they want something like this. Bolt's a perfect fit.